The main objective of this lab is to design an experiment to test a claim that answers this question. And this question basically, can we count matter at the molecular level and the atomic levels? So there are two things I gave you, and one is, and there are two things that I gave you in terms of getting you start with designing the experiment. First is the scale, and that's the equipment, and then we have the substance that we are going to look at. In this case is chalk. And chalk is basically calcium carbonate. And part of the procedure is you are going to come up with a tweet message between 200 to 240 character that you are going to write with this piece of chalk. And then you're going to determine is it even possible to determine how many molecules of chalks that you use to write that two messages? Or how many atoms of each of the elements are used to write that tweet message? So, of course, if we look at this, we know that chalk will be used up in the process. By looking at this concept, we realize that you have a scale. What do we use a scale for? Well, we use a scale to get the mass of the chalk. So this equipment allows us to get the masses of the chalk. Now, if we look at this, when we have a piece of chalk right here, let's assume that's a piece of chalk. This piece of chalk, of course, would have an initial mass. And what happened to this piece of chalk when you use it to write your message? Of course, you're going to use the chalk to write it and therefore, the mass is going to decrease. And notice it's going to decrease, right? So we can consider this as your final mass. There you go. And just to give an example, one of the students has 5.0 grams of chalk initially. And after he used to write his 240 character message, it turned out, we have 4.9 grams. So what's happening there? How much chalk is being used? And all you do is take the initial minus final, give us 0 0.1 grams CaCO3 use to write your message. So the design of the experiment basically saying that along the line that you record on the mass of the chalk initially, and then you write your message and then you get the final mass, the difference in the two mass will give you how much mass you use. And that is extremely simple, isn't it? But many students will struggle with this because they have never been exposed to the rigor of designing their experiment. So if you didn't get this far, don't worry, we will have different opportunities later on throughout the year that you will design an experiment. And let's go back and continue analyzing the data from the lab. Well. In this case, outline the step that you would need to convert from grams to molecules of calcium carbonate. And basically, all it's saying that if you know how many grams of calcium carbonate that you use to write your message, can you find that or can you convert to molecule? In this case, just a basic stoichiometry problem where you are given 0 0.1 grams of calcium carbonate and we are looking for question mark molecules of calcium carbonate. And if we look back at the stoichiometry flowchart, where do we always start from your given? In this case, this is where you start. And where do you end? At the molecules of A. And where do you end? Of course, we are going to molecules of A. That's because the chemical hasn't changed. So this is where you end. To start from mass in thermogram all the way to molecules, what do we need? We need to go down, that's one conversion factor, and we need to go across, that's the second conversion factor. And of course, we're going to write down what we are looking for. We're looking for molecules of calcium carbonate. Equal to, starting with our given as always, in this case, how much grams of calcium carbonate do we use? 0 0.1 grams of calcium carbonate. Time our very first conversion factor, which is this one right here. 
one mole of A equal to the number of grams of A. And times the next conversion factor, which is one mole of A equal to 6.02 times 10 to the third molecules of A. And we all know what is A. Your A is your chemical, which is calcium carbonate. So I'm going to substitute that in. All the letter A is calcium carbonate. Now, for this conversion factor, both of the measurements are complete, except for this one, the number gram. What does that number gram represent? Well, that is the molar mass of calcium carbonate. You can Google for the molar mass of calcium carbonate, or you can use the periodic table to calculate. So I'm going to write out, so CaCO3. In this case, Ca, there's only one, C, there's one, and O, there are three. And I remember the mass for calcium on the periodic table, 40.08, and carbon is 12.01, and oxygen is 16.00. And 40.01 for the total mass of calcium, carbon is 12.01, and then for oxygen, 3 times 16, that is what? That is 48.00. And we add them together. What do we get? We have 100.09. And that right there is 100.09. So we have our conversion factor. That's how you would outline it to solve for how many molecules of calcium carbonate. So let's just solve this, okay? So we have 0 0.01 grams of calcium carbonate. Time our very first conversion factor. Since this is gram of calcium carbonate, the bottom one must be grams of calcium carbonate. Exactly 1.09 gram of calcium carbonate. And on top must be the leftover of the other side, which is one mole of calcium carbonate. And then we are done with our conversion factor. Now we multiply to the next one. And notice how grams of calcium carbonate cancel out. Now if that's moles of calcium carbonate, down here must be mole calcium carbonate, which is exactly this one right here. And on top would be the leftover, which is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of calcium carbonate. And look what happened to moles of calcium carbonate, it cancel out. All we have to do is now plug in the calculator. 0.1 divided by 100.09, that's because it's on the bottom, time 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. 6.02 E23. That's because it's on top. And what we have here is our final answer turned out to be, let me write it down here, equal to 6.02, well, 6.03 times 10 to the 24 molecules of CaCO3. And that's how you take your grams of calcium carbonate that you use and convert it to molecules.